away his credit cards. <laughs> I think today I'll wear my stove pipe hat. Lately, I've been seeing pink and green spots before my eyes. Did you ever see an eye doctor? No, just pink and green spots. <laughs> Let me see now. Maybe I'll wear my ten-gallon hat. How about water company? Could you send over ten gallons right away? I didn't need that. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what's for dessert. Well, I'll be gone darned. Baked Alaska. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, he's the president of my fang club. <laughs> Let's see. Perhaps I'll wear my bowler. That's my half-brother, Wolfgang. He's in medical school. Ah, uh, what's he studying? Nothing. They are studying him. <laughs> Let me see. Today, I'll wear my crash helmet. I didn't need that. Jack, today you promised you'd show me the Horrible Hall Museum. With pleasure, Sabrina. You'll be bats about our monstrous mementos. Here we are in Horrible Hall's famous Museum of Unnatural History. How exciting! These are the very fangs of my beloved uncle, Count Jogula. Just looking at them brings a lump to my throat. And this is the one and only abominable snowman. <laughs> Quick, Jack, cover me up. There's a warm draft in here. Just run downstairs and curl up in Hagatha's deep freeze. Cool idea. Now here we keep the heads of the world's strangest beasts. For example, the spotted Juropotamus. Yeah! And if that hunter hadn't spotted me, I wouldn't be here. What's this one? That is the great horned rhine elephant. Man, if that ain't great horn, I'm packing my trunk. Ooh, there's the weirdest looking head of all. Just below me, Sabrina, hanging around headquarters. <laughs> that skateboard is like out of sight. Now, look what you've done, you long haired loony. Get me out of here. Sorry, Drag Baby, but I 
prom this Sabrina, we'd go icicle riding. What's the big hurry, Wolfie? Don't you recollect? It's time to get ready for the play. Hey, all you groovy ghouls. Welcome to Wolfie's Winged Out Theater. Like tonight, we present that stirring drama, The Shoemaker and the Elf Costume. Clayton! Shoes, the shoes, the shoes. My whole life was spent in making the shoes. And as a never no money, I wouldn't be caught live in this show. Hey, wife, what is like for dinner? As the usual, filet of soul. <laughs> Man, like I had that for lunch, let's just shuffle off to bed. You can't. I had that for lunch. All righty. Then we shall recline and sleep on the floor. Another few minutes and we'll all be asleep on the floor. Those kind old folks need the help of an elf. Such poverty has touched my tiny heart. Boo-hoo-hoo. 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 As an actor, Frankie could use a little elf control. Now to make some shoes. I shall hammer and stitch all through the night. You want to hold down the hammering in this stitching air? We trying to sleep in here. But I'm a good little elf, here to help you make shoes. Hey, Groovy, Groovy, Groovy. But I only had enough leather to make one. You lop-eared leprechaun! You used up all my leather! What can I do now? You can always go into television. Television? Sure. Now you've got your own... Really big shoe.
Before he goes to sleep, he winds up his cloak and puts out the bat. My weird uncle thinks he's a cross down bus, man. Well, send him up to see us. Like I cannot. He does not stop at your corner. Oh, crap. 700 years bat luck. <laughs> Mummy, why is Orville eating the laundry? Ah, because the doctor said he needed more starch in his diet. <laughs> I've got a nice safe hobby, catching night flying monster balls. <laughs> Say, what's a good game for a ghoul's birthday party? Ghost office. I just came from Goolworth's department store. They're having their annual white sale. Come along. Hey, cat, it's like time for our gruesome twosome tennis match. Okay, let's start the game. How are we going to play without a net? No sweat, Daddy, no sweat. <laughs> Spido, yo! <laughs> you can always, like, count on Spido for net results. <laughs> okay, let's go! <laughs> Here comes a hard one. <laughs> nice catch, Drac. I shall return it. Out of bounds. Like that's one for our side. No wonder you're winning. It's three against one. Okay, now here comes my wolf whistler. Great tell what kind of tennis stroke is that? My bat hand! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! Looks like we all got it! Where did you get this tennis ball? I found it under Rover, my dinosaur. The worst thing about tennis is the awful racket it makes. Uh... Gosh, the doctor business is slow. Sometimes I feel we're running out of patience. Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. That's me. What's the problem, Bonaparte? Watch what happens when I look at this Playboy magazine. Every time I see a picture of a pretty girl, I go all to pieces. Don't worry, I'll have you back together in no time. You, I am the bone specialist here. F you. Ouch! Sorry, I didn't mean to pull your leg. Where should we start? The instructions are in my hat. Let's see now. Attach part A to flange B with cutter pin C. Man, you know, like if they need help, they can always get a skeleton crew. <laughs> wow, you guys are a terrific doctor. We've studied at the Sawbone Institute. We've specialized in skeleton. Va, 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 vroom. What happened? I told you I'd go to pieces when I see a picture of a pretty girl. Now that's what I call an X-rated X-ray. Girl Scout Brat Patrol, halt. All righty, we'll camp here, rat foe and bat foe. This looks like a very good place to pitch the tent. <laughs> Great invention! 
mentions these instant pup tents. I'll straighten up in here while you kiddies start the fire. With pleasure. Right, Batso? <laughs> right, Batso. Let's get smoky to dragon. <laughs> Like I'll have to live up to the Ghoul Scout motto and be repaired. Don't worry, us Ghoul Scouts know all about first aid. Wait, I can't move. <laughs> it's the general idea. <laughs> Now that we've done our bad deed for the day, let's see. <laughs> I wonder what haggis are packed in a picnic cask. <laughs> ah! Sudden fright chicken. Wow, it's delicious. Hey there, how's about me? <laughs> Sorry, patients aren't allowed to eat. Yeah. You might get grease spots on your bandages. <laughs> oh, Uncle Abdul! I haven't seen you for ages. I'm not your Uncle Abdul. I'm Frankie. Now get me out of these things, will you? Ah, glad to. I'm an expert at unwrapping, you know. Here, get a load of this. <laughs> Delicious, isn't it? The best I've had in centuries, you know. Hey, what about us? <laughs> Don't we get any? Patients are not allowed to eat. You might get grease spots on your bandages. <laughs> oh, dear. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Today's musical ghosts of honor are that swinging trio, the Spirits of 76. Golly, that surely is a haunting melody. And yeah, they've never had a lesson in their former lives. You don't so. Yeah, they play strictly by eerie. <laughs> Think I'd better warn you, out in California, there's a mean old town. Population zero, yeah, but we know there's a million ghosts around. Stand. But sure as the wind blows, they got a hero to bring a lot of the land. Little Texas Gooley, he's real cool, he always wears a silver vest. Little Texas Gooley, I'm telling you, he's a fastest ghoul in the West. One day the ghost town had themselves a showdown when Texas was passing by. Well, he got real scared, didn't want to be there, said it's time to say bye-bye. But he tripped on an old log when he heard a few shots, thought he was a goner for sure. Looking for the bad men, knew that they were gone when everybody sang these words.
Texas. Girl. 